show us your fucking hands! Now! I would. But unfortunately, my hands are full at the moment. Where is he? I want to see the big bad jefe. Put it down. As you wish. Adios, Senor Katari. You have five seconds to get on your knees and interlace your fingers before I put a hollow point through your forehead. You're going to want to answer your phone, Officer Bowman. Hello? Sir? Yes. Yes, I, I don't understand. Sir... Sir, that is not possible. I am telling you that it's not... Please, I am asking you that you... Sir... Yes, I understand. Bowman? Fuck you! Fuck! Bowman, what is it? Bowman! He got full immunity. He got... He made a deal and he got... A deal with Fuck. who? Who do you think? The DOJ! Hold on. Hold on. You're not he saying... He offered up the heads of four other cartels, plus three terror groups that traffic heroin. His competition. How is this possible? As I told you. If you have power, everything else follows. Now, if you don't mind, Senora Bowman. It seems that yesterday you were my adversary. Today you are nothing but my chauffeur. Take me to your supervisors. I'm sorry. NOC Karen Bowman, Plan Bolivia After Action Report. Officially, Operation Kingslayer was a success. The Santa Blanca drug cartel was dismantled, Unidad forces are severely weakened, and major shakeups are happening inside the Bolivian government. While the investigation into DEA agent Ricky Sandoval's murder continues, we're confident that those responsible have been neutralized. Most importantly, the man known as El Sueño is no more. He is now confidential informant number 38726B, and CI 38726B has been a veritable gold mine of intelligence. The Las Manas Muertes cartel accountant gunned down by the Mexican Marines last week? That was his. The El Saif terrorist cell arrested in Austria a month ago? Him too. Those Corsican Mafia gunrunners taken down in West Africa? All thanks to the snitch formerly known as El Sueño. The deal is, as long as he provides us with actionable intel, we let him keep breathing that fresh, freedom-filled air. Obviously, he's not ratting out his friends. These are all rival groups encroaching on his business. But, as the old adage goes, the enemy of my enemy is still a fucking enemy. And what does he get in return? Aside from the elimination of anyone standing in his way? A luxurious three-bedroom condo in Pinecrest, Florida along with free meals, a 50 buck per diem, and unlimited pay-per-view, all at the expense of our noble taxpayers. Of course, freedom is a malleable term. Thus, his room and board comes with 24-hour surveillance, live-in guards, and cameras in every room. Ever wonder how a former drug lord takes a shit? Trust me on this, it's not nearly as exciting as you'd think. And since most of the shit I say gets redacted anyway, I might as well give you a glimpse into my crystal ball. It won't last. Eventually, he's gonna run out of targets. And then what? No way CIA is putting up the money for a lifetime membership in WITSEC. Best case scenario? Mexico finally files their extradition papers and he ends up in prison for about a week before he disappears into the back of a suspiciously unattended laundry truck. Worst case, we just cut him loose. Maybe he spends a few weeks vacationing in the darkest corners of Eastern Europe before making his way down to El Salvador. 
starts up a new cartel. Calls it El Renacimiento, the rebirth. Spends ten times more on security forces this go-round. Then makes his way into Peru and takes over the coca trade there. But now, he doubles down. Meth manufacturing. Heroin from the Middle East. MDMA, bath salt, steroids. If someone wants to swallow it, snort it, smoke it, or inject it, he'll make it, move it, and market it. Except guess the fuck what? I will be right there waiting for him. Me and my friends. Those operators. The ones who can't be seen, can't be heard, and can't possibly exist. Yet somehow, still manage to haunt your dreams. Bowman out.